So, my name is Best of Games, and this is a story. You see this screen right here on this uh, YouTube video that you are watching? Activision, Sledgehammer, Michael Condry, big YouTubers that I'm going to link this to. Just look at this screenshot, okay? This was me turning on my PlayStation 3. Mind you, my PlayStation 3, where I bought Advanced Warfare as a $60 product digitally. So there's nothing wrong with the disc, there's no problem with that, and I've been playing over Wi-Fi for the past six months. It is now May. The game has been out for six months. This was not even the first game this was going to be the first game that I played today, the 27th of May. And I load up my class, and I get into the game, and I freeze. This is where it froze. Yesterday, on the 26th, the game froze five times within three hours. This is six months into this game's life, on a system, and on a platform, that I spent my real money on, pay, uh, on paying for this game. And six months into the game, this is what I'm greeted with every time I play. I am saying this as a consumer of Call of Duty, and as a consumer of... Just just a consumer, just a person that plays video games, who enjoys playing video games, who maybe thinks that he's too good at them, and really isn't, but that's fine. I spend my money on a game to play it. I want to play Advanced Warfare. It is why I keep putting it into my PlayStation 3. Well, not even putting it in, because again, it's digital. So there is no clearing the game data, Activision support, and bullshit like that, because I'm not re-downloading the whole fucking game. The game should work. And it was working, and it was only freezing once every, I don't know, couple days that I was playing this game, until the latest update. So now, I am telling you, Activision, that the game is broken. The game freezes every time I join a multiplayer game. So, if you do not fix this issue as soon as possible, and I know that it means that there are real people over at High Moon Studios doing real work, trying to get this thing to work, I understand that. You have every right to do your job, and that's perfectly fine. But, this also means that this game is still broken to this day. And... Quite frankly, I think I deserve a refund. I think all the people on PlayStation 3 that bought this game deserve to have a fucking check sent to their house for $60 saying, we're sorry that we gave you a broken fucking game. Okay? Because I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this broken ass game. Do not dare to put Black Ops 3 on last gen consoles. Because it will be as broken as this shit right now. If you put Black Ops 3 on a previous-gen console, it does not matter to me. I won't buy it. I refuse to buy another Call of Duty game until I have a PlayStation 4, not an Xbox One, and not a PC. A PlayStation 4, because Call of Duty is meant for console gaming. And I don't support Xbox and the fact that everything's been exclusive over there for fucking years. That's bullshit. Okay? So, get rid of the exclusivity bullshit. Do not develop Black Ops 3 for, for PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360 because it will be as broken as this shit is right now. And I've literally had this open for over five minutes, and it has not moved from this spot. So, you cannot tell me that it is my game or my game disc because there is no disc. There's no problem here. The problem is, is that you guys gave a 
fucking failing product to me to purchase, and you expect me to give you even more money for DLC and advanced supply drops and all this other shit when you can't even get the game to work right on its own. That is a scumbag move looking to cash in on bullshit. If someone from Activision watches this, I expect a real legitimate answer on when the PlayStation 3 version of this game will be fixed. It will not freeze ever. Ever. There is no more freezing involved in this game. When I turn this game on after the next patch, if I freeze even one more time, I expect to check for double the amount of Advanced Warfare sitting in my mailbox. I'll give you my information. I don't care. But, until then, I'm not playing Advanced Warfare. You may see uploads of Advanced Warfare on this channel, and that's fine, because I've already pre-recorded them. But, until this freezing issue is gone, there is no more Advanced Warfare being played by me. At all. I will go play other games. I will not support anything that this game is for anymore. Because this is absolutely ridiculous. Six months into the game, you've made millions, probably billions of dollars on Call of Duty, and yet you still give us a broken-ass game that can't fucking run on the system that it's intended for. Fix the game. That's it. It's as simple as that. And I know that's not that simple, but fix it. A game six months into its life cycle should not freeze. Ever. This has been Best of Games, and I'm just letting you know that this video is going to end right now. And I'm still not going to play Advanced Warfare.